Today, hundreds marched across city lines in support of May Day. It was a march to advocate for driver's licenses for all, regardless of immigration status. The demonstrators called today a day without immigrants, encouraging people to call off work and even pull their children from school to march. 24-Hour News 8's Justin Kolar spoke with a mother who did exactly that. He's live tonight with why she and hundreds of others took to the streets. Justin. Yeah, good evening, Sue. Demonstrators here just about now wrapping things up after a long day of marching through Grand Rapids and into Wyoming here at Pinnery Park. Now, one of those demonstrators we spoke with, Sochika Avile, says she didn't send her kids to school today so she could teach them valuable lessons firsthand on unity and perseverance. We are here together and we, we need to stay together for our kids. Avile's husband, the father of her three children, was deported three years ago after she says he was pulled over for a traffic infraction when he didn't have a driver's license. We have to stay together because I don't have a driver's license and I had to go out and work every day for them because they have only me. They have only me, so I have to be here for them. Avile's story and others like it or what encouraged Jose Jimenez to organize today's march. Licencias para todos, licenses for all. This community is scared of driving on the road because at any moment, a simple traffic infraction can be deportation for them. Sergeant Dan Adams with GRPD kept his officers close by the march to make sure demonstrators could express themselves safely and peacefully. Everything's uh, been fine. Um, there have been no arrests, uh, no injuries that I'm aware of. Um, they're having an opportunity to voice their uh, position. Demonstrators say while today's march was a success, Jimenez says their work is still just beginning. What we're asking is uh, to have these driver's licenses again so our community can productively, you know, drive, you know, without fear, you know, go to work, be able to take their kids to school without, you know, worried about not seeing them when they get back. Now, today's demonstration here was just one of several throughout West Michigan. Demonstrators say their main goal was to simply be heard and send a unified message to state lawmakers. In Wyoming, Justin Kolar, 24-Hour News 8.